Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here today. I'm headed down to my local golf course and we're going to do a mini fishing challenge and it's going to be a country trip as well. We're going to try to hook up on some bluegill or sunfish, a bunch of micro fish, um, smaller species with my mini rod that I got in the back here. Um, and we're going to try to catch some fish and cook them up down in the pond. So stay tuned for some awesome content. All right, see you guys down there. All right, pulling up now. Out here at the lake. Let's see if we can hook up on some fish. Alright guys, hike back here. Through all this brush. We'll get to my bluegill honey hole. Hopefully we do good back here and can cook up some fish. Alright guys, I'm gonna set up camp here because we have a tree over there. We don't really have any cover and it's raining. So I'm gonna set up spot here and we'll go from there. Spot's really over there, but we can go fish over there and then cook everything up here. So let's get started. All right, what's going on guys? So I got my mini rod rigged up, but we need bait. So I'm gonna search for some ground worms, some worms, that is stone. Um, I'm gonna look for some worms and then we'll get started fishing. All right, you guys, so we got our fish here, right there. Beautiful little bluegill. It's been sitting for a little bit in the rain. I was trying to catch more, but it's really tough right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna throw this in my pocket so it doesn't get soaking wet. And we're gonna start cooking this up. So what I'm gonna do is I got my jack oil here on my little stove top. And I got my seasoning, and I got my fish, right? So I'm going to put this guy in here, and I'm going to take my, um, and I'm just going to flay the fish. So I'm going to take my fish right here, and I'm just going to take my fillet knife, and I'm going to go through the gill. I couldn't catch any more. I would have gotten a bigger one. Uh, this is a mini catch and cook, I guess. So I guess it kind of counts. But I'm going to go through the butthole. I might just gosh, my knife is very dull. I'm going to go through the butthole. All the way up. Then I'm going to chop the head off. Pretty simple. Once you get it done, go. Now catch catfish with that if you want to. I might do that actually. Part of the deal. All right, so then I'm gonna cut the skins off. All right, so now you have this, right? So what I like to do, I like to get all the guts out first, obviously. But gosh, I'm gonna take the guts and I'm gonna chuck them in the pond because I don't want any bears coming in trying to eat my fish, right? So cut it back. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. And in order to get as much meat as possible, cut down. And then I'm gonna cut this guy in half. Sign, right? And then to get the skin off, basically do the same exact thing, but you want to find basically where the skin meets, so. But we have some meat, so let's go, let's go wash off and I'll cook it up for you guys. This one! Do pretty good living in the wilderness. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys want to see a backpacking trout cooking and stuff video. We have some of that up like a 45 minutes up. We've got trout lakes, backpacking country. So let me know if you guys want to see that, because I could definitely do that. But let's get cooking. So I'm just gonna gas powered cooker. It's actually for backpacking. Just gonna twist this guy on there. Okay. Then throw that on there. Boom. Perfect. Shoot, that's what I forgot. 
All right, guys. Sorry, I had to go back up to my house because I forgot the hot dogs and the lighter. Well, actually, well, I started fishing and everything, and I got ready to actually caught that bluegill on just the hook somehow. No idea how I did that, but um, I went to cook it and I forgot the lighter. So now I got the lighter and some more hot dogs or some hot dogs. I forgot them. Um, so we're gonna start cooking up that one and then that was a tiny one so i think i'm gonna just um get uh try to get a bigger one or another one so that it's an actual like meal i guess um then we will conclude this video so all right let's get to cooking okay so like i said i went back got some hot dogs because i got that other one just on a hook which is wild but I also got a lighter because um forgot it so I'm gonna start cooking these fillets up right now start cooking so throw these fillets up onto grill grill boom then we're gonna go ahead there we go. Now we're cooking. Literally. Alright, so now I'm going to put some seasoning on this. Oh, baby. Tastes good. Turn this guy down just a little bit. That smells <laughs> amazing. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting smoked on. <laughs> we're cooking. We are cooking. Okay. Oh yeah, cooking those fillets up real nice. All right, she's done. Now we gotta taste her. Sort of stuck to the pan. She is. It's our little filet. Oh, let's try. It. Never had bluegill in my entire life, so. First time for everything. That's actually really good. Huh. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Wow. That was actually really good. I had some garlic and a bunch of different other seasonings in that bag. That really made it. That made it real good. Oh man. Let's go get some more. All right, guys, change up spots. Try fishing here. Um, see if I can get one more. They are just not biting right now. It is downpouring, and this is the first real rain of the season, so I think that might be why. Even though that's usually good fishing for me, at least when I'm bass fishing, it's not working out for the bluegill right now. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay.